Hey guys, Karak City here with another review. This time I'll be reviewing the Kaiten Juken Tokyo Blaster from Resha Sentai Tokyuter. This is the Tokyuter's main sidearm that can change between two modes. So this, so this set includes two things, the Tokyo Blaster and one Tokyo Resha. So to start off, we'll take a basic look at the Tokyo Blaster itself. So uh, first we have it in blaster mode, where it is pretty big but also a pretty boxy looking gun. You know, the trigger down here then the main body, which is mostly done in metallic grey, with some silver and gold. So on the front we also have this panel here with a green border, which will be part of the main gimmick. Have the muzzle up here. And on the back side it has more etched in detailing. Plus the on and off switch and the speaker. And so the include Russia is the scope Russia. So this is done up in a kind of a burnt orange color with a metallic blue uh, cockpit. A little black down here and a white stripe down, or rather across the middle. Now rather than being based on a real train, this is more based on a sniper scope. With the crosshairs here in the front and a focus knob up here on top. Although this doesn't turn, it's just a mold on part. So it has wheels that allow it to roll, as well as connectors so it can link up with other Tokyo Russia. The first thing to do is that we can use it with the Tokyo Changer here. So first, doing Norikai Henshin. So this changes Toki 1 into Toki 1 scope. Then doing the transformation sound. When using one of the non-main Russia, it will default to Toki 1 but then add the Russia's name to the end, so it also changes, it also makes the change into Tokyo 1 scope. Then doing the Russia summoning. you get a charging sound for scope Russia. Also, it has a connector port in the back, so by bringing in Tokyo, we can take off the front part of pink Russia, then replace it with scope Russia to make Tokyo scope. And while it doesn't have a gimmick, you can raise it up like this, and then pretend that it's using it for better accuracy while using the gun mode of the Fumikiri Ken. And it doesn't look too bad. So then getting back to the blaster, start, we'll switch it on, and you get a confirmation sound. So pulling the trigger will get you one firing sound, and holding the trigger doesn't get any additional sounds. So uh, the main gimmick involves this panel here. This is designed after a station board with the current train on top and then the next train on the bottom. So in this case, we have blaster mode on top, and then sword underneath with a green stripe. So to switch it to sword mode, you hold down this lever, then rotate it forward or upwards, like so. 
they'll cause an announcement and cause this to rotate changing the display so now it says sword mode with blaster underneath with a red stripe and so to complete the change to black to sword mode hold down this button and flip out the blade like so and there you have it in sword mode it's still bulky and you have pretty good sized blade although even if the blade may seem short the thing to note is that the blade's edge runs from the tip of the blade all the way down to the trigger so making it actually pretty long which is a nice touch so while in sword mode you get two different standard slashing sounds and then after every six pulls of the trigger you'll get a special slashing sound and just to prove that this isn't a random sound I'll do it again and so then change it black to change it back into blaster mode flip back down the blade then return it to its normal position although the display says blaster mode and sword mode the toy and in the show calls it a couple of different things rather they are ultimas mode and kirimas mode ultimas meaning shooting and kirimas meaning slashing so it gets across the same kind of point but you also have this alternate take. So the next thing you can do is use the scope project for a special attack. This can be done in either mode. So the first thing you can do is press this button and raise up this bar. You know, it's inside, mold on train tracks, and then this part for the Russia to lock into place. So it takes scope pressure and slide all the way into place until it locks in and close this down. Yes, standby sound and then pull the trigger. And you get a special attack. And you can do this again by press by pulling the trigger again. And removing it. You can do the same thing in sword mode, so switching that around. And in this case, you have to start it right here and then lock it into place. Of note is that this is just activated by the Russia hitting this button here. So you can technically use any Russia to activate the special attack, just like Red Russia here. And that's all for the functions. So overall, the Tokyo Blaster is a pretty fun toy. The gimmick is quite neat, and it is cool just to flip it around and see the panels rotate like that. And because they're actually rotating rather than sliding, it gives a nice effect. And though it is boxy, it still is a pretty nice design. It has quite good size to it. So this is good for both kids and collectors. Additionally, the scope brush is pretty cool. It does allow you to use the special attacks right out of the box. It lets you make Tokyo, and it has a sound in Tokyo Changer. So it's also worth getting for this Russia. Overall, I can definitely recommend it either alongside the other Tokyo gear or as a standalone toy because you can get all of its functions right out of the box. 
So, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and share my channel for more videos. And for now, this is KRX50, riding off.